Do any of you feel that during the course of your day, you have more information coming at you than you feel is humanly possible? We're forgetting to pay attention to the people who are around us because what's right there on our phone is so important and we gotta handle it. We're not looking to our right and we're not looking to our left. Every event is different and every event is important to that audience and to the people who are behind the scenes planning that event. And so before any time I speak, I try to put myself in the mindset that this isn't one of 60, this is one of one. And I have to make sure that what I'm delivering to that audience is special for that audience. I pulled out my phone and I started checking what was going on in the world because we live in this information age. And he was staring at the cards and making his decisions and I'm doing what I do. And he looks at me and he goes, Thomas, put the phone away. And I said, Dad, you don't understand the world we live in. This is the information age. People could be sending me emails right now that are really important. Some of my coaching clients are trying to reach me today, I'm sure. And I go, Dad, they could be trying to reach me to hire me to come speak at their association. And I go, or maybe, maybe somebody's on Twitter right now saying, Tom Singer is the best speaker I have ever seen. You could do that if you wanted. <laughs> and he said, put it away. And he looked at me and he said, Tom, when I was your age and I went to visit my father, I never checked email. <laughs> I said, uh, Dad, when you were my age, there was no email. And he said, of course there was no email, but there has always been distractions. He said, Tom, you teach this stuff. You've written books on this stuff. When you're with people, you need to choose to be with people. He got a hate getting schooled by the 99-year-old dad. All opportunities come from people. And when we remember that, we're gonna have more success. So we live in this social media and gadget crazy world where people think that a like, a link, a share, and a follow actually mean something. But it's not a relationship. We have to get back to the human engagement. Your clients are sticking with you because you're their grande non-fat vanilla latte. You're the one they can trust. Your prospects are sticking with your competitors because they know them, they like them, they trust them. So you have to realize that as you go out and network, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to become that person who is a known entity to people. My favorite moment isn't while I'm on stage, although I love to speak and being up in front of an audience gives me a great rush. But my favorite part of being a speaker is when afterwards, maybe right afterwards or maybe weeks or even months later, when someone from the audience comes up to you and tells you that your message resonated with them and that it really had an impact on what they're trying to do. I'm Tom Singer. I'm known as the Conference Catalyst.